Are you standing in your own way of progress? This week's business book recommendation is for The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield. This book is about what stands in our way of creativity, why we face internal battles and how you can win. So what did I learn? Well, the problem or the enemy, should I say, is resistance. Resistance is what stops us from going, from continuing, from even starting. Resistance can manifest in so many ways. It can show up as victimhood. I'm not moving forward because this thing has happened to me. Or as procrastination. I'm gonna start, but tomorrow. Or as rationalisation. Here are all the plausible reasons why we haven't moved forward yet. And there are many, many, many more examples in the book. The point is, once you recognise that nearly every roadblock in your creative endeavour has another name and can be exposed to something else, you can't hide anymore, you can't excuse, but rather you can be real and move past the problem. What does it make me think differently about? Excuses. We all make up excuses, that's part of being human but quite how many excuses we tell ourselves is saddening. This book has made me think that everything that happens happens as a result of action, and all actions start with a thought. If we can learn to recognise and coach our thoughts in the right direction, we're bound to take more of the actions we want to take. What actions did I take? Well, after the what stands in your way part of the book, the author looks at how we become pro, what, what we need to do to consistently produce the thing we want to produce. He talks about consistency and showing up, and he also talks about the power of separation. The things you produce aren't you, they're the things you produce. If you separate yourself from them mentally, you can be more objective to them, feel less fear of people judging them. They are judging the output, not you. I've taken on board many of these subtle but massive changes in mindset. What's the impact been? Everything is a, a lot easier. Making things is easier when you don't fear that you'll be judged. If it's rubbish, it is, not you are. Creativity isn't reserved for the lucky few. They, they cultivate it, and you can too. This is the impact I've felt from this book. What a wonderful book. It, it's much more abstract than other business books I've recommended, but, and by that I mean you need to do more of the connection making and thinking about what it means and how it applies. It isn't black and white, which I suspect will put off some people, but I loved it and continuing to enjoy the impact it's had. Have a wonderful day.